And hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Rising Road with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. How you guys all out there doing today? I'm doing quite well and I'm outside of the vault because I got an idea that I want to run through the back, that's been running through the back of my head for quite some time. So I want to do this one with you guys, alright? So if you guys have ever run, played any post-apocalyptic games or anything like that, there's always just that one house that seems to like chill in the area you know what why can we why is this let me uh f5 for a moment let's do something with this and yeah let's let's fix this i don't know what this is all about but let's fix this <laughs> It, I'm just, I just noticed this. I thought we closed all these holes up over here and kind of smoothed it all out, but I guess we didn't. Um, we're going to go ahead and fix this real quick right together. There he goes. Just fix it up, patch it up real good. Uh, yeah, there's a cave down there, but I'm not too worried about it. I just want to, here we goes, here we goes, here we goes, here we goes. Yeah, the toolbar is always there, but at the same time, I just want to give this thing a nice quick patch job real quick. Uh, we got this stone right here, and I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. All right, here we go. Let's just go ahead and bring this forward to match with it. All right, and let's go ahead hit three for paint. And let's fix this. All right, so this should all be dry dirt. Yes. And we'll come back through this and fix the terrain up at another time with more uh, stuff and things. But for right now, let's just get rid of all of that right there. There we go. And F4. There we go. All right. Now we got something we can work with. I like, the, I like that a lot. Okay. Let's F2 down. And no, I don't have my rake for this, but it looks a little bit smooth. Looks a little bit better than what it was. And perfect for what I want to do today. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Well, guys, let's go ahead and let's swap down and let's pick ourselves out a block. Um, we could use this one, but what I'm aiming for more or less is like an old teal kind of like block. This, I think this is metal. Yeah, let's not use that. Um, this is green. It's kind of old, a little bit rustic. I want to get myself a wood plank at a wood beam out of this okay so let's go ahead let's do item wood beam 1 126 there we go all right now, what you guys are going to be notice right off the bat, it's kind of controlled in somewhere. We're using tiny bricks today, guys. Now, I, I set these things here for a reason. I want us to use tiny bricks. And this is going to be kind of leveled out a little bit back here in this little spot. But I want it to be like a little bit like right over in here. So you're not going to be able to notice this right now. All right, let's go ahead. Let's hit control on this. And we're going to place our first block. So let's go ahead. Let's see this. You guys can watch this. Watch. Boom. We got it. Boom. We got it. Let's go ahead and let's bring this across by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine. We'll say 10 across for this way. Um, maybe a little bit further. 11, 12. Okay, so we'll say 12 across this way. Not too bad. Okay, I kind of like that idea. So we got a 12 across that comes this way. Um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to line this up over here. Let's zoom in so we can get our control key in there just proper. There we go. Let's go ahead. Let's add this one in right here. And from here, we just want to go out 11 spots. Let's go ahead and let's bring this out. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one more, which will anchor itself right into that right there. Okay, now if I was to hit the uh, page up on this, it would bring it to right there. So I don't want to do that. Okay, what I instead what I want to do is I want to bring this thing like over here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring it over again. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit control on this and then I'm going to F2 down just for a little bit, just for a little bit so we can make sure we got this thing in place. Um, all right, let's go ahead. Let's see here. Can we get this in place right? Um, uh oh, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's de lock this. All right, that should still be locked in. All right, let's go ahead. Let's bring this across. We're gonna do two, three, four. And maybe you guys might see what I'm doing here. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. But uh, I'm going to let you guys guess on this one just for a moment, okay? Before I show you, tell you guys what we're up to, okay? So we're just going to kind of give like a ruined foundation kind of look here. That's what I'm aiming for. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's bring this one out. Let's bring this one up. We want this to kind of sit up a little bit higher over here. So we're going to use that to anchor up against for this. Let's go ahead. Let's set this one right about here. See, uh, we got a little bit of a spot that we can work off of right there. All right. And I think that will have to work right there. Let's go ahead. Let's bring this one and just bring it across. I think Dagaline would be very proud. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's bring this one. Now, let's see here. Let's go ahead. Let's keep bringing it. Keep bringing it. Keep bringing it. All right. Control on this once more. Now, remember, the rest of this right here, it's not going to be here. We do want to add a few bricks inside of here in spots to make it look like it's collapsed. But at the same time, right about in here, what I'm, just, I'm looking for is just a way to kind of like say hey look we can't do that right here okay let's go ahead hit that control key just for a moment and what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a plank okay so let's go ahead over to the uh let's head over to the uh ed saw bench let's grab ourselves like a, a white plank of sorts something that we can work off of all right let's see if we can find something a little bit bright there you go. That ought to work. And what we're going to do with this is I'm going to place this thing right here. It's something I should have did the first time. That way we can move our bricks, make sure they're all in line and not, well, like all over the place like they kind of are right now at the moment. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to place this one right here. There we go. And what this is going to do right here, it's going to separate it off just a little bit. Okay, I don't want to make this look like it's 100%. Let's F2 down. You guys are going to see what this is all about here in just a moment. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's fix our bricks. And let's see, which way does this one have to go, guys? Which way? Okay, this one has to go over this way. Let's go ahead and F2 down. We're going to have to do this just for the time being. All right, here we go. So we got this one. It starts like right about here. Okay, and it's right up against that wall right there. There we go. All right. So what this is going to do, let's, if we just back up here a little bit and switch back up, if we can see this. Come on. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Okay, whatever. Um if we can see this, let's just zoom in. Okay, you see how we got that little bit of a crack right there? That's what I'm looking for. Uneven, but perfect at the same time. This one right here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring this across by four, five, six, 
control off of it and leave the rest of it over there. This one right here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to like, because I want to give it like a ruined foundation appeal. Okay. Something that's old, something that's there, but you know, something that we can work off of. So here we go. So we got this one. Let's do two. Let's do three. Let's do four. And let's do five. Let's do six. Let's do seven right here because it's it just kind of blends in a little bit better. That way, this side over here, it's a little bit long, but it also kind of varies. And it looks a little bit different. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to bring this thing back out. And let's see about adding a little bit more to it now. Okay, we want to add one more layer to it. Let's go ahead. Let's see about doing this one right here. Let's do control. Now, this is going to be the last layer. Okay, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put that first one in right here. Let's do two. Let's do three. Let's do four. Let's do five. And let's go ahead and say that's enough for right there. Let's go ahead. Let's bring this across. And let's bring this one down. If I can set my character just perfect, but kind of hard sometimes. There we go. So let's just, can we zoom in? There we go. Ah, there we are. Make sure we have a little bit of space to work with. Control. There we go. We're good. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that one has five. This one has four. Let's go ahead. Let's bring this one out by five once more. And no. Yes. Let's make this one like that. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Let's go ahead. D control on this now. Now, what I'm going to do is you guys see this brick that's right here. Okay. Now, this brick is going to act a little bit differently. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the enter key on this. And when I do this and I bring this across, it should. Uh, uh, nope, 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 nope. That did, that, that, did, that, that did not work the way I hoped it to. Yeah, see, that's changing the texture of those blocks down there. All right, so let's do this at random then. Okay, let's just kind of like break it up. We'll add a little bit here then. If it's breaking it up and making it look a little bit awkward, we'll just do a little bit at random, okay? And we'll say maybe this one right over here. There we go. That way it kind of sticks out and it gives it its own randomized texture at the same time. All right, let's go ahead. Let's put one maybe right here. And maybe we put an extra one right there. There we go. So let's do that over here as well. We're going to add a little bit of extra texture into it. Let's add this one like right here. I do want to add one way back here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Would be nice if I can get one back there, but kind of hard to do right now at the moment. All right, let's see here. Can I get this thing in right there? I want to bring this one forward, put it right about here. And we're going to run the rest of this like right across the edge, coming down to make it give it like a run down approach. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to run it like that. There we go. There we are. And let's take a look and let's see what that looks like on both sides. It's actually not half bad. Not half bad. Okay. So let's pull that thing up out of there. And you're probably wondering, well, what about the boards? Well, what? don't worry about the boards. Okay. Don't worry about the boards. The boards themselves, they're coming out. 
okay now what I want to do here is I kind of want to leave a floor in the area and we also want to add some fallen bricks and stuff and things so this hole that is right here we do want to add a little bit more to it so what I want to do is this is wood beam ID 126 this is the one that we were using for that let's go ahead and get ourselves a wood plank in 126 um, item wood plank one 126 okay and here would that be right here let's go ahead let's put this thing down let's see about putting that thing back in place let's go ahead and do um, set P 15 there we goes and Todd nine fix that time so we can see what we're doing now what we're gonna do with this is I think what I want to do with this is let's go ahead let's first off can we maximize the entire length of this and it should it should be just long enough to fit right in there page down let's go ahead and let's drag this all right um, let's minus and let's go ahead let's drag it over by one more to about like right there okay so what this is going to do now is this is going to leave me a little bit of a spot for leap where I could kind of, kind of, like, say this is where other foundation blocks would be at. But I'm not going to worry about that, okay? I don't see my rake on me, but I want to come back down here with my rake, and I kind of want to come back up and over top of these edges. So let's go grab my rake. We're going to come down here. We're going to go over top of that. And we're going to fill that over, okay? We're going to fill it over and kind of give it like a ruined feel, okay? Shut up in there. I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. All right, let's see here. Where is that ring? Haha. -ha. Okay, let's do this. All right, so let's hop down here. <coughs> Now, given the amount of years, one would say that the wood has probably been disintegrated or it's been dragged up there to do some work. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to F2 down. And what I want to kind of do is drag this landscape up and over top of this. Okay. Kind of like this, like that. There we go. Um, it's giving off a very weird vibe effect right here where it's doing this. I'm not sure why it's doing that. It sh really, it shouldn't. Um, it should not be giving us these really super squared things. Okay, so let's see if we can do something about that. Okay, let's go inside the saw bench. Let's grab some wood beams. Um, we're going to use these ones. Yes, let's go ahead. Let's grab this. I'm going to hit backspace on this. Let's go ahead and bring this thing up. Let's shrink it up a little bit. Let's bring it all the way up to about right there. And what we're going to do with this thing is I want to kind of trace it. Okay, so we're going to use this and let's give it like a little bit of a trace job. Okay, so let's see here. We do from here. Uh, let's say we go ahead, we place one right there. 
We place that right there. Let's go ahead. Let's hit enter off of that. Let's hit control off of it. Let's drag it forward this way. And what I want to look for right here is where this would be at. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to place this right here. I'm going to drag it forward just a little bit over this way. We're going to place it right here. And all right, let's go ahead, hit control off of this. Let's go ahead, hit enter off of this or control off of it. And let's drag it over this way a little bit now. Okay. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to do a little bit of the same. We're going to hit this one right about here. I want to start to drag this one out here a little bit further because we're going to make a fallen wall here. Okay. So we're going to do something like that. I want to kind of make a fallen wall as if it's fallen inside of the place. All right. So, all right. So let's see here now. All right. Stop. Get out of my way and give me something wood planks. Give me this one right here. No. Yes. Craft this. All right. Now from this thing right here, let's go ahead and let's hit the enter key on this. Hit backspace. Let's go ahead, hit control. Let's see if we can page up on this and get it to about the right size. Because this right here is going to be our fallen wall. Okay, so I'm going to have to blueprint this one, I think. So let's go ahead. Let's do this one. We'll bring it across a little bit further. All right, let's go ahead. Let's pull this out. And I'm making this one a little bit thinner for a reason. All right, so we're going to use this one right here as another fallen wall. All right, let's go ahead. Let's hit control on this. Nope, that's not done yet. All right, let's. All right, we're ready. So this one right here, we're going to go ahead. Can I hit enter off of that? Nope, control. There we go. All right, let's go ahead. Let's shove this one in. Page up. Bring it all the way up here to the top. Nope. Page down. All right. And it's in. Okay, so what I want to do with this one is I kind of want to shove it inside of there. Like so. Okay. So what we're going to do now, let's... Eh. All right, let's just go right on ahead. Let's make it the way I was going to. hit the enter key off of this all right and what we need is another wall okay so what I want to do with the other wall is we need to make like a window of sorts that's what I was thinking let's get a blueprint all right, let's go in here. Let's grab ourselves a uh, saw bench, block bench, anvil, loom, workbench tier two, default. Um, not that one. Workbench. All right, let's go to uh, miscellaneous blueprint right here. Let's go ahead. Let's craft the item. There we go. Let's go ahead. Let's do this. Come on. All right. And let's go ahead. Let's do this one up here. Let's go ahead. Let's do. Boom. Let's select the area. Let's just say wall one. And we're going to go ahead. Hit create. And let's go ahead. Let's blast this thing out. All right, let's see here. Not that. All right, J. Let's open up wall one. 
let's use the blueprint uh, what we're gonna do is yes you guys see how that's on there like that all right let's go ahead let's shift this thing around kind of like so and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place this thing kind of like this but I want to Yeah, I want to kind of do something like that with it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's put this in the wall in the in the ground, and we're gonna kind of just like make it look like it's fallen into the house. Okay, let's page down on that thing a little bit. There we go. So I know the wall's kind of straight right now. We could fix that. Um, let's page down. I gotta bury this thing. To get it in here. It's not the way I expected it to be. Alright. And what we can do is. I want to kind of like bring this around. Like this. And just make it look like it's a bunch of random stuff. Alright, so, whoops. Alright, can we br just, like, drag it around? Alright, let's drag this thing towards me. And just make it look like it's a bunch of random walls. Just as if they fell in here together. Kind of like that. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's hit Q on this. And scoop that up. There we go. So we got a little bit of walls. They're supposed to look like they fell in. Uh, this stuff is supposed to look like it's real, really not even here. Um, these, I don't even want them in here, to be honest. I want this place to look like it's been capsized. Um, we need to blueprint this one. Let's go ahead. Let's blueprint this. Let's go ahead. Bring that up here. Let's go ahead and do this. Select area, wall two. Create. All right. Let's go ahead and knock this out. All right. Give me this. All right, and it's actually only three things, but at the same time, all we're doing is just knocking some stuff things out of it. There we go. So, all right, let's go ahead. Let's grab this thing. Let's go ahead, hit J. Let's grab wall two. Let's hit use. And it does have these things on it, okay? It does have these things on it. I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to keep those on it. And I'm going to go ahead, hit control. No, I can't do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and place this one. We're going to place it and drag it the whole way down, kind of like this. And we're going to, we're just going to drag it across. Okay. Kind of make it look like it's a freestanding house right now. Okay. There we go. But the rest of it, yeah, I, I do realize that the rest of it has to look like it's blown down. So let's go ahead. Let's drop this wherever it just disappeared to. Give me that. All right, let's hit J. Let's grab wall three. Let's hit use blueprint. And from here, what I want to do is, let's see here. Can we? Yes. All right. Let's go ahead. Place this one.
and we're going to make it look like it's like falling in over on this side and we're just going to kind of mix and match with this now okay so here we go we can drag this one over a little bit more and, and all i'm doing is just blending the different stuff and things together okay so we have a bunch of random stuff and things it's all just chilling in over here it's supposed to look like a ruined structure okay i'm not sure how you're supposed to do this but or the better idea of how to do this but i want you guys opinions what do you think of this what do you think of this all right you know give me your honest opinions what do you think of this um, as I play Fallout 4, I see they got randomized, different, blown out structures all over the place. Like, let's see here. If we grab this thing right here, let's hit J and let's go ahead. Let's grab wall one. Let's hit use blueprint. Let's pull this thing around like right about here, maybe. Um, there we are. And let's go ahead. Let's say we place this thing like right up here on top. Okay, let's say we want to place this thing right up here. Of course, it looks a little bit awkward. What else is no? All right, let's bring this thing over. page down on it because it's already like supposed to be a part of the structure itself page down drag it in and then page down on the rest of it to kind of bring it all together all right and there we go so that just kind of gives it that extra thing that says hey look something's sitting here okay I was thinking of making it look like it came out this way. We can do that, but let's, you know what? Jay, let's see here. We can do this. Um, we can add maybe a warehouse. No, I don't want to add the warehouse. Um, barbed wire. No, I don't want to add barbed wire to this. I don't want to add any other pre prefab to it. Let's see here. We got a ball, gear, glass, grill... Oh, that's a fence that we worked on. Cobbled wall. Let's use this. Just for a moment, okay? And let's just say that this at one time used to be the... Uh, this used to be the... Um, this used to be like the, uh, the yard thing for it, okay? This used to be like the uh, decor of the wall. We're going to go ahead. We're going to bring this up. And this used to be like the decor for the wall. For the yard. For the yard. Not the, uh... Here we go. Now, Dagaline made this one right here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, we're going to place that one. Um, let's throw this on the ground, scoop that up. Let's go ahead, get this up out of the way. Let's get our rake out. Um, that is not rake. There you go. We'll go ahead. We'll bring this up together right here. Let's take a look up over here. Okay. So we got a little bit of a dip over here. This over here looks a little bit better. Uh, yeah, um, you can still see the bricks, though. I don't mind seeing the bricks, but let me know what you guys think of this right here. You know, it's, it's an idea that's been running through the back of my head for a while now, and I want to hear what you guys have to say about abandoned structures. Let's go ahead and make a blueprint of the entire thing with you guys. That right there is from Dagaline. This right here is something we put together. I'm going to go ahead and blueprint this entire thing.
Um, hopefully Dagline don't mad the fence coming with it. Um, let's go ahead and we'll come all the way out to here. Let's page up on this. And let's also make sure that we can, we have everything that belongs with it. It looks like we do. We'll go ahead and shift and page down just to make sure. All right. And I think that's it. Okay, I think that's good. All right. Let's go ahead and select area, and we are going to call this abandoned structure. One. There you go. Blueprint group structures. Eh, I'll, I'll organize that later. <laughs> okay, guys. Um... Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. I'll, uh, <laughs> this was just something, a little bit of creative creativity I've been thinking about for a while now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some screenshots around with this with you guys so you guys can get a good look at it, see what it looks like. Let me know how we could have improved. Um, and it, I'll see you guys next time. We could have actually added a window in here now that I think about it. But I'll see you guys on the next episode. All right. Later.